5 hours to save the environment. We obtain various things from the environment for our development. All the things we need from the environment are called natural resources. Air, forest, sun energy, water, coal, petroleum, etc. are natural resources. Resources like forest, water, coal, petroleum cannot be used again once they are used. Therefore, these resources are limited. Moving rapidly in the direction of development, we are exploiting these natural resources extensively. This is causing great harm to our environment. You must have seen or read about air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution and their impact on the environment. Many natural resources are limited. In addition to this, due to rapid exploitation, these resources are decreasing rapidly. If the speed of their exploitation is not controlled, then these resources will not be available for our future generations. So, we must use these resources in a controlled manner so that they are available for the next generation. Distribute the resources equally among all classes. Ensure that the environment is not harmed during use of resources. Dispose the waste materials in a proper way. The concept of sustainable development encourages the development and fulfillment of the present needs of human beings as well as it ensures that resources are conserved so that they are available for future generations. All of us should follow the 5 R's to ensure sustainable development and to save the environment. Let's learn them. Refuse While buying things, we should refuse to take all those things which can harm a family and environment. For example, we can refuse to take plastic bags. Instead, we can use cloth or jute bags. Many times, when we see a good deal, we purchase things which are rarely useful to us. We can avoid buying such items. We can also deny excessive packaging. Similarly, we should also refuse to take items like plastic cups which cannot be used again. Reduce We should reduce the use of resources. For example, we can turn off the appliances running on electricity when not in use. You can take a walk to go to nearby places instead of using a car. If you want to go far, you can use a public transport. This will save petroleum. Do you know about 17 trees are cut to produce 1 ton of paper? We can reduce the use of paper so trees can be saved. Similarly, we should make food according to the need so that it cannot be wasted. Can you tell me in which cases we can reduce the use of water? Discuss this with your friends. Reuse We must use things again and again. For example, a jute bag can be used repeatedly to carry things. Instead of throwing a juice bottle, we can use it to store water. Plastic containers can be used to keep things in the kitchen. You can also use boxes used in packaging to store things. Those clothes 
which do not fit us can be given to the needy. Repurpose Sometimes, things that are purchased for a purpose no longer remains useful for the purpose. For example, a broken pot. Such items can be used for any other useful work. For example, a tree can be planted in a broken pot. Broken bucket can be used as a dustbin. Broken bangles can be used to make decorative items. Recycling Items like plastic, paper, metal can be used to make new things again. This is what we call recycling. Many items that can be recycled are sometimes thrown away as garbage. We should separate such items from the waste produced in the house. Various people in the village and city collect such items from us and give them to the chemical companies where they are recycled. It is a matter of fact that energy is required for the method of recycling. So, whenever possible, we should focus on reuse. Now, remember your daily activities and think, how can you use 5 hours? So, today we have learned 5 hours to save the environment. Thank you.